Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Tunnel 10 Let's Play. And yes guys, I know I uploaded a video of the Tunnel 10 Let's Play not very long ago, but I had to make another video because I've got a lot of Dark Elixir. I've got enough Dark Elixir to upgrade my king already. And I wanted to show you guys this as quickly as possible because of the miners. Um, I told you guys, miners are beast, and just in like a day or whatever, I was able to farm enough Dark Elixir to upgrade my king super fast, and I only boosted one time. All the other attacks was kind of casual, so stupid Dark Elixir, guys. Just insanity. So let's go. Let's find a base. I've got a couple of armies, and I'm still in Crystal League, so... The, uh, the, the, the type of bases that I'm able to hit are kind of hilarious. And you know what? Let's hit this base. 4,300 Dark Elixir. We have ourselves a pretty decent spread of Dark Elixir, by the way. I think that the... Yeah, that's not even a max drill. So the only drill that's maxed out is down here. So... Yeah, and then this drill over here is not as high level as this one. So I'm going to attack this base from the bottom right-hand side. And I'm also going to use my queen to maybe snipe the enemy queen. So we're gonna use these heroes just like this. This is also kind of like a funneling tactic here. So queen is up there doing her thing. Also, I've got some CC miners as well. So we'll hold on to those just for the moment, just to wait and see. All right, so let's uh, drop a poison on this queen. Look at this, go queen, get that queen down. Yeah, 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 all right, sweet. Uh, we need some heals, we need some heals now. Thank you very much. Pop that king's ability. Get him up there. Yes. All right, cool. And um, so that's one drill down. We're about to come into the range of a second drill. And oh, we get a CC hound. Fortunately, that doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> and let me go ahead and put my max miners into the core there. Because it looks like they're struggling a little bit to, uh, to get that loot out of there. And um, poison over the king. And there we go. All right, so things are looking pretty good not fantastic but pretty good um i'm not entirely sure that my miners are gonna be able to get the storage actually wait wait there's a ton of miners right here this is what i don't like about miners is that you can't tell how many are where that is my one complaint all right but besides that they're beastly i will put up with their sneaky sneaky ways sneaky sneaky miners uh because they're just absolutely beast i mean this base had infernos it has a cc Lava Hound, which is insanely strong. Kappa, insert sarcasm there. And um, <laughs> now we're just going to have fun with this. Um, miners may actually pull off the triple. I doubt it, though. Unfortunately, both heroes are dead. However, yes, the big fatty has made it through the wall. And he will actually come in the clutch because whenever the miners drop down, the uh, defenses will retarget onto him. And see, there you go. Hound is now busy on the giant. And the, the, that's going to be a losing battle for that hound, guys. That giant will survive the hound's puny little fire poops probably uh, until the cows come home, which, you know, it's quite a long time. So, yeah. Whoa. Oh, guys, we might. Yes, we're going to actually triple this base. That is amazing, guys. I, I And I, you know what's funny? I almost skipped the base because I was like, ah, Infernos. I'm down a Crystal League. I don't need to hit a base with Infernos. But you know what? It, it proves how beastly these miners are. And if I remember right, the Dark Elixir grab with this attack was like 40... 300 or something like that plus a loot bonus. So you're talking about like 4,500 Dark Elixir, give or take. Let's see if my memory serves me right. That's 40, yep, 4,300 plus 200. 4,500 Dark Elixir plus, of course, a really good amount of gold. Uh, I'm almost full of gold, but not quite. And then my Elixir, not bad, not bad at all. So that is the beauty, and I've said that, I said this last episode, but I really wanted to emphasize that by farming up enough uh, Dark Elixir to upgrade the king in this video. And actually, let me see. Wow, I'm only 9,000 Dark Elixir away from being able to upgrade the queen. I do want to get the king to 35, though, before I upgrade the queen again, um, but it also just depends on the Dark Elixir. It depends on five books. It depends on everything. So... Now, let me see. I'm going to request... Oh, I can't request for anything. I don't even have enough healing spells. Okay, well, maybe... Yeah, let's wait. Let's get our fourth healing spell. Let me show you guys a replay in the meantime. Here's a 5,200 Dark Elixir grab here. And it is a... Look at the walls on this base. That is very, very nice. So, I'm going to send a couple of miners in here. That's going to grab that drill. And then I'm going to use... A, ooh, CC Giants, guys. Keeping some defenses busy. Very nice. If I deploy on this side, the miners will take both of the drills on the bottom and on the left. That queen level 32 is like, yo, babe. Hey, hey. Yeah, I'll heal. I'll poison over that queen. No big deal. And then, of course, 
a bunch of Dark Elixir in that storage. And oh yeah, this attack was so sketch. I remember this now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Giants actually really threw me off. And I was really afraid that the Miners weren't going to get in there and grab the Dark Elixir out of the storage. I mean, yeah, we've already grabbed 2,400. That's not a bad amount, but there's still 2,700 to be had. So fortunately, my Miners stayed alive and all of them pretty much made it into the core. So we got that Town Hall, we got that Dark Elixir storage, and that is 100% of that Dark Elixir grab. Perfect, ladies and gentlemen. And then, of course, they come into this side and there's a Tesla farm of death and there's a Max Expo. And what else is there? There's all kinds of death. Just all kinds of death in the core, guys. Um, and then it's skeletons. But, I mean, th this base was sort of, like, set up, sort of designed to defend against miners. And it did a fantastic job. Even though it didn't have infernos, um, I didn't quite hit it just right. So there you go. Phenomenon. That guy's name is Phenomenon. Phen Phenomenon. Very nice. I want that gem box. I'm going to leave that gem box right in the middle. That's pretty nice. All right. So there you go. 5,200 plus the loot bonus. That is 5,400 Dark Elixir. Love it, guys. Love it. And a lot of it is where I'm at. I mean, Crystal League has a lot of dead bases, lots of dead tunnel tens, things like that. But also, again, the miners, it just, it gets, you know, you can wrap a base, take all the dark elixir drills out of, off the outside super efficiently. Or if you need to, you can dive into the middle and you can get the dark elixir out of there. So, guys, I'm going to wait the 44 seconds, get my fourth healing spell. I don't even generally, you know what? No, 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 no. Here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be super realistic with you guys. I'm not going to skip anything uh, well i'm gonna skip bases until i find a base that's decent but um i'm only gonna hit this base with healing spells three of them i'm missing two and i'm gonna hit it with only my miners now here's a really big risk in doing this is that if i find a base with clan castle troops i'm in big trouble but the beauty of being in crystal league is this dead tunnel 10 i i can guarantee you with 99% sure assurance that there are no CC troops in that clan castle. This guy's not even a cl in a clan because he's he's a dead base. Um, his clan probably kicked him out or he left his clan because he knew he wasn't going to come back. So let's snipe this lovely Dark Elixir. I'm going to go ahead and snipe this right here. Get it, son. Get it, son. Dude, that was like that was like a lot of dark. All right, and then let's do, let's do this one. One, two, three. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send in the cavalry. All right, send in that cavalry. They're going to make the way down here. I really want to, uh, to also get that dark elixir out of the storage. And there's probably some in the town hall. Whether or not we get that dark elixir is, um, you know, it's kind of a gamble. So let's just see what happens. Let's heal next to this wizard tower. Heal here, here. Heal the here, here the heal, and then we're going to heal over the king as well. And this one will kind of double up, and uh, they'll take out the queen. So that works out good. Now, will we get, will we snag that town hall? There's only 150 Dark Elixir in there, so if we don't, it's not the end of the world. But it'd be kind of cool if we did. So, And this was, again, only with three heals. So really a very risky thing to do is to attack without all of your heals without your poison spell, without CC, without heroes. But if you can find the right type of base, you can do anything. So here we go. We, we I mean, completely gutted the core. Um, I don't, with the, another heal or two, we could probably have three-star this base pretty easily. But I don't think we're going to. So we're going to miss out on quite a bit of gold and elixir. But I'm not really hurting for elixir or gold. I mean, yeah, elixir with this army being pretty expensive with elixir. I, I would like to have gotten as much elixir as possible. Um, I'm not gaining a lot of elixir, but you'll see here in a minute whenever we go to my progress base, how many walls I've upgraded just farming dark elixir. I mean, I am not at all focused on gold or elixir. All I'm doing is getting as much dark as possible. And look at this. Manny the miner wants to get smart. He wants to take out that lab. Good job, buddy. Good job. Now, where are you going next? Are you going to get gold? No, Dark Barracks, you genius. He's going to go down. He's going to grab. Oh, I wanted him to get at least one shot on that gold mine. Okay, well, either way, loot bonus, 5,000 Dark Elixir altogether. Boom, baby. And we're only like three or 4,000 away from being able to upgrade the queen. Again, I need to upgrade the king because he's a little, he's too low. But there you go. Miners, completely OP. Completely and utterly insanely strong guys and let's hop into my progress base i did upgrade three walls in just the day or whatever since the last episode so that's pretty good six million extra loot which is pretty good i've got lots of gold right now by the way i think i might um yeah let's just put the gold into the walls let's do this let's go 
three. That's going to be six million gold in three, two, one. Bam. And then I'm going to hold on to my elixir, though, because like I said, this army does cost a lot of elixir. So I don't I, I, I for the most part, I stay fairly even with the elixir. I don't gain a lot. So I'm going to hold on to my elixir for now. Also, most of the really important laboratory upgrades that I have are elixir based. So I want to make sure I've got plenty for when that day comes. And then um, let's upgrade the king. 141,000 dark elixir. Only a six day upgrade, guys. I can wait. I am patient or I'll gem him. I have the gems. I might just gem it. But for now, we're going to let him sit. Level 34, not that much gains. Plus 4 DPS. Plus 4. Horrible. But the, you know, the hit points is good. 94 hit points gained. So, not bad. And it's really to, it's really for the journey to Town Hall, uh, or uh, level 35. That's really what it is. Because at 35, we get the new uh, uh, Iron Fist ability or whatever. And that's always a good thing. So, let's upgrade this king. Let's get him to go on level 34. And again super fast i love it have i mentioned that i love my miners i think i have all right let's go upgrade this guys 141,000 dark looks to six day upgraded three two one bam nice all right and then of course we're going to continue farming dark we're going to continue farming gold get this base to max and our walls i'm very impressed with our wall progress i mean i always keep or try to always keep a builder available for walls and it's it's worked out i mean how many walls have i upgraded so far i've done 113 walls and we really haven't even started on defenses yes i maxed out my um my infernos but we really mostly focused on traps and resource buildings and offense buildings and things and now we're just we're, we're ready to really start cranking out defenses and um we're almost halfway done with walls so that's really really cool too so um guys that is going to do it for me today i'm going to continue doing this thing this minor spam love because it's absolutely gorgeous guys again let me know in the comments if you're enjoying miners if you're using them on your own base if they're working for you and what you know what league are you in are you in crystal are you in master are you in champion or where are you and is it working for you down there as well in my experience the higher up you go the less effective it is because you do have more bases with clan castle troops so if you bring like a queen walk it really gets a lot better so all that being said, guys, thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. And hit the subscribe button if you have not done so already for daily gaming videos. And as always, I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.